Hey guys, we're doing a review of Bonaire Cruisers where we rented a golf cart on our recent Carnival Horizon cruise. You start by walking through the port area. It's not a long walk really at all. Um, and you go down to a sidewalk, take a left, and there's gonna be all these tents as you see here. And you can rent the golf cart. It was all the way at the end. Um, Bonaire Cruisers was. We recommend reserving a golf cart in advance. So we checked two months before our cruise and we're already sold out. Luckily there was a cancellation and we were able to uh, get a golf cart. Golf carts, two people golf carts are $100 a piece and $100 refundable deposit. So from the tent, you have to walk over a few blocks to get to the golf cart. Uh, this is where you pay for it, show your driver's license, and then get the keys to the cart. So you have to be 23 years old to rent a golf cart or to drive it. And also we recommend bringing a bottle of water or something to drink. We also recommend maybe bringing a light snack because you will be out here for a long time. We ended up stopping for lunch at a place called Foodies while we were on our tour and it was really good. Highly recommend checking out Foodies. When you check in at Bon Air Cruisers, they do give you a map to navigate around the island. Uh, there's also an availability to download a map before you get there. Uh, it, they say it takes five hours to go to both the north and the south side. We just did the south side and what I'd say is if you want to stop and look at places and get out of your golf cart, it will take more than five hours to see both sides of the island. There's a north and a south side, like we said, and we chose to do the south side. And here are some of the things that we are available to do and see. The Mountains of Salt, which was really cool. We did see that. The Slave Huts were an interesting, uh, check it out, get, you know, get out, look inside and all that. Flamingo Sanctuary. We didn't actually see a lot of flamingos, to be honest. We did see some. Um, the great snorkeling spots, even though we didn't do any snorkeling, there were a lot of people, there were, saw people snorkeling. We saw people getting ready to scuba dive. Um, there, there also, there was a lot of mangroves to see and windsurfers at, uh, Sorbon Beach. We chose to do the south side because our friends already were familiar with it and wanted to tour it again. So we actually had companions, uh, golf cart to kind of follow and help us along the way. And it was a lot of fun hanging out with our friends for the day with golf carts. We didn't visit the north side of the island, but there's lots of cool stuff to visit over there too. So next time we go back, that's what we'll probably do. Uh, there's some snorkel spots, there's the A Thousand Steps. There's Go To Lake, which is also a flamingo sanctuary. There's also a viewing point where you can go to the top of a hill and see over all of the island. So really cool spots over there. So at the end of the day, what you do is you take your golf cart back to where you picked it up from. Um, you don't have to fill it up with gas. You really just drop the keys off and walk back to the ship. Um, you have to have it back by 5 o'clock at night or whenever your, your ship leaves port. Renting a golf cart was a great way to make a tour your way. It was awesome. You stopped wherever you wanted. You spent as much time there you wanted or not. You just got up and went and it was great. Whenever you wanted to stop, take pictures. It was, it was an incredible experience that, I, that we soon won't forget. Overall, we thought Bon Air Cruisers was 100% worth the money, and they were super friendly. Let us know in the comments if you've done this before in Bon Air or planning on doing this. Also, check out our vlog where you can see the tour that we did in our day in Bon Air.